Big news from Washington University School of Medicine. A cure for diabetes may be within reach. Fox News' Chris Higgins is here now with the television exclusive. Chris, this is really exciting. Yeah, it really is. It, it is another step closer and closer. They have actually cured diabetes in rats at Washington University. It is a big deal with nearly 24 million children and adults dealing with type 1 and type 2 diabetes in just this country alone. That's news that people are smiling about. Is this potentially the cure? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, darn right it is. And we're real close. Okay. Dr. Mark Hammerman at Washington University School of Medicine is pumped up about the results of his latest research into a possible cure for diabetes. His findings released today in the American Journal of Pathology detail a giant step forward. He has cured diabetes in rats using a unique one-two punch. He first transplanted embryonic pig cells into diabetic rats. Over the course of about six weeks, these cells become the pancreas, which houses the all-important insulin-producing isolate cells needed to regulate blood sugar. That primes the rat's immune system for a second implantation of islet cells, this from an adult pig. The results are remarkable. Well, as a scientist, um, I try to maintain my objectivity. But, um, yeah, I'm excited. Dr. Hammerman needs to take testing to the next level. He is very optimistic about the future application in humans. We need to uh, reproduce the work in animals that are larger than rats, more human-like. Uh, we need to make sure that the uh, therapy is effective long-term, that we get a long-term cure of the diabetes, and that it's safe. Now, the key to this new technique is the first transplant. It's that embryonic pig pancreas cell transplant. Those cells short-circuit the immune system to get it ready for the second transplant. That one delivers the insulin-producing cells. Now, this is done now with people, with human cells, but it requires anti-rejection medication. So you're effectively, guys, trading one set of problems, the diabetes and the shots, with anti-rejection medications. Both, obviously, have their problems. Well, Chris, sure. obviously, the, uh, the doctor was very excited. Uh, about this, and I'm sure a lot of people, our viewers, are excited about the potential here. How long, maybe, before we might see this in humans? It may take, uh, the doctor is saying it could be as long as five years, as short as five years, before the first tests are underway uh, in humans. And this is for both type 1 mm -hmm. and type 2. It's all inclusive. He thinks in five years it is very reasonable they could have a solid grip on diabetes. Now, I'm just curious about the human stem cells. Will those be used when they apply this to humans? This is all about pigs. Okay. He said there are plenty of pigs to go around. It, this has nothing to do with human stem cells. People with that concern can put that away. This is entirely based on pig stem cells and pig cells. And there, as he said, there are plenty of pigs to go around for people. There's 26 million of them in the United States alone. Amazing. Exciting news for yes, diabetes tonight. It Thank really you, Chris. is. Thank you, Chris.